Okay, so we'll walk through carrying options. So there is a sequence again, or a spectrum. You've got the most simple through to the most advanced or most optimized, including specifics uh, for uh, more advanced time trial bikes. The most simple, just so that you can ground yourself and then we can work from there is take your bike out as you would normally cycle it and any of your training runs. So this is my bike set up as a normal training. I've got, if you can just see this. There we go. I've got um, clip-on pump, a water bottle in cages, and a little sad, uh, saddle pouch here with some spares uh, done. Super easy, drink what I need to drink, I've got my stuff. It's not the best though, and we can optimize this and do a little bit better. So, if you were on a sprint race, probably have nothing with you. That, you're, you're fine. You strip your bike down and you've got nothing on it. No spares, no fluids. You can have some stuff. You unlikely to need it. Um, you get water on the run. You can have a water bottle and have a squig at T1 if, if you really wanted. If you're at the pointy end, you don't need anything, okay? Step up from that. Maybe you're going a longer distance and maybe it's uh, the course is an out and back, a big loop. If you get a puncture and you not want to walk it, what is a kind of a first step up in lightweight carrying option? So, something like this setup. So I've got a spare inner tube that can easily go. So take the saddle uh, bag off. This will easily Velcro. So there's a Velcro strap on this guy. This will easily Velcro underneath my saddle. I can tuck up underneath my saddle, out of the way. If I need to change, I've got a gas canister with the nozzle on top and some tire levers. Comes with a Velcro strap, and I can just simply Velcro that onto my um, seat post. The choice then is whether or not you're going to take some kind of fluid with you for that bike. That most likely is going to be weather dependent. So you can stick with a simple water bottle or you can go one step up. So one step up would be something, a TT bike, something like this. So it's a, a bottle to go on the front of your bike clipped between the aero bars with a little tube then that you can pop out. And this one's got a, a cycle computer mount on it that you can extend and Around. Um, so that would go out on the front of your aero bars on a TT bike or your clip-ons on a standard road bike and you can drink from that. You can fill it up, uh, probably this one, 500 mils approximately, I think, maybe a bit more. Um, so you could use that. An alternative would be a setup like this. So this is a behind the seat um, setup. So this would be clipped onto underneath the saddle, onto the saddle rails. And then you can choose how much uh, you want to put on it. So this is currently rigged with gas canister, uh, an inflating valve nozzle to work with the gas canister, standard water bottle, and um, a spares um, pouch. So I'll let you have a look at this. So it's the shape of a water bottle. You get plastic ones. This one's like a, a plasticky leather one. It just zips. Opens up. And you can put things in here like tire tube, um, levers, another a tube, gas canisters, um, it's quite, it's big, it's big and it's, it's reasonably heavy, so if you're going to use one of these, mm, okay. Uh, that's those options. Um, okay. What happens if you're doing longer distance, right? How do you, how do you manage and how self-sufficient can you go with longer distance? That's when you start looking at combinations. So, 
you might also want to look at some kind of top tube storage. Um, this would then go onto the top tube of the bike, uh, just here. This one attaches with two Velcro straps on the bottom. So this Velcro is underneath, one Velcro strap around the, uh, around the stem and is Velcroed onto there. This one's quite big. Um, you get quite a few bars into here and then you can stick some gels and your rubbish in the side as well. So with all of that, what other options have you got? So go back to the principles of how much do I need to carry and what is it I'm carrying? So one of the areas where you've got most flexibility and choice, bars, bars a bar, you're gonna stick it in a chop tube or you're gonna pop it in your pocket. The area you've got a little bit more choice is if you're carrying gels, how do you wanna carry those gels? So shorter distance race, you might be as simple as taping a couple of gels onto your top tube here. Again, practice it, practice so you can tear them off okay. Practice it so that um, you're okay either uh, biting and tearing the, um, the, the opening to get the gel out. Practice so you've got somewhere to stick the rubbish or you'll get DQ'd if you, potentially DQ'd if you're, if you're littering. The other option for gels that I've shared before is having a look at something like this. So this one is 150 milliliters, so marked on the side there. Little silicon squeezy pouch that squeezes down to next to nothing. Um, squirt in the gels you require into one of these guys and you pop it into your back pocket. Pull it out when you need it, squirt, pop it away. Um, you can do it down in an aero position, you can pull one of these out, squirt. You know how much is, you know, it's like a mouthful. You practice if you need to know how much, just don't squirt the whole thing in your mouth, you're gonna get bad stomach. Okay, so that's one part of how you can optimize things. The second one is, Okay, I'll send a link on this, but consider if you've got energy um, products which are coming in powdered format and you're thinking, how do I carry the amount of uh, powdered format that I want? You've got two choices. You can keep it as dry or you can look at uh, concentrate. So if you keep it as dry, obviously you don't take the big tub with you. So a lot of them will come in, people call them sticks. So a stick of the powder that you can carry with you. Again, you're gonna have it in your back pocket and this is for a longer course. You can pull one of these out, tear it off, pour it into a bottle that already contains water or mix it in your front bottle. I, I think it's quite a faff. Think you're probably going to end up stopping you can do some of this on the move particularly with these front bottles it, it's quite tricky so you're going to end up pulling over to the side which is not horrendous rip pour lid back on off your cycle It'll take you a few seconds but it's more the loss of momentum and the loss of um, your focus and the risk that someone's going to come in the back of you if you're stopping and pulling over at an aid station um, I, mm. Therefore, I would go with the option of concentrate. So I'll send a link, Tailwind has got a good one. You take one of these, you take a tub, and you make it up into a bottle, which you then have is concentrate. Once you've got a super, super concentrated um, product in a bottle, use a clear bottle so you can see what's going on, or you can use a soft flask. You've then got a choice as to how you mix it in your stomach or into a front bottle. Tailwind's advice is mixing it in your stomach purely because they're designed more for running or um, events where you don't have the option necessarily of mixing it. But with a number of these, and I've lost, I've lost it, I tried to find it this morning, a number of these front uh, bottle mounts this lid is one which is actually um, uh, split open. 
So you're able to keep the lid on the bottle. I wish I could show you. And where this X is, it's actually got some um, openings, some slits. And if you take another bottle and you push it into the top of the slits, you can then squeeze whatever product into uh, the bottle. So if you were to have this with water in it, squeeze water into it, then if this one was to, um, sorry, if you were to get a refill water at an aid station, you can squeeze the water in, you can then grab your concentrates bottle and you can squirt in, squirt, squirt, a couple of squirts of concentrate and you know then that there's energy product in here and it's going to get shaken around as you're cycling. The other option, if you don't want to be mixing it like that, is to say is to mix it in your stomach. So you'll come into an aid station. At the start, you'll be able to grab a water, drink the water, squirt some of the concentrate if you want, or just grab the water and stick it into an open slot in your rear cage and pop it into here final option you've got if you are going down a concentrate route or you're thinking oh okay I've got an empty slot that um, I'm going to use for water I want to use one of these uh, tool um, bottles what else can I do so the third option is to use an aero bottle down on your frame and you could put that um, onto your frame with some concentrate in it that concentrate will then be able to last you for the duration of, you make it up strong enough, it will be able to last you for the duration of the event um, in terms of the energy, especially if you supplement that energy product with some bars, so you're having some solids, and maybe some gel, although my advice would be hang off on the gel until you're out in the run. Right, that was a lot to go through, this video is already at 12 minutes. So that's the selection of items in terms of front mounted bottles, rear mounted bottles, an aero option for down here. Some bikes will have specialist um, carrying options so on the back here they'll have um, a spares uh, block which also helps with the aerodynamics so it's almost a fairing but it's not allowed to be. Um, or you can put in a couple of, of uh, tools Final thing I'd suggest is if you are going quite lightweight or maybe you're carrying um, one inner tube, you've also got some on your bike because they're on the tires, one spare inner tube, grab yourself something like this. So this is from, um, how do you pronounce it, uh, Lazine, and it's two sticky patches. So. If you do puncture, don't toss your inner tube, roll it up, stick it in your back pocket. If you then carry in a couple of sticky patches, if you are to puncture again, you can then seal either the original that punctured or the second one, your spare that you've just put on and you can seal that. A couple of patches like this, provided the puncture is small and most punctures are, you don't normally get a massive blowout. You've then got a couple options to seal up that inner tube. Takes a little bit longer, but if you're in a long course race, having a couple of patches like this means you don't need to carry as many inner tubes. And worst kind, worst scenario, you've got something spare. Also in here, I don't know if you'll be able to see it. There we go. Okay, those little gold links are. Um, chain links so they're tiny get a spare chain link um, the most common issues are puncture or something coming loose which normally you can get away with you can cycle on if your chain snaps though and you're not able to propel yourself you're going to be stuck roadside so a couple of chain links because your chain snaps not going to be perfect but you can put a couple of links in throw a bus link will come out put a couple of links in and you'll be able to continue on obviously you need to work out why it snapped but it might just be you had some problem in your chain okay that's a lot to go through so the four steps are work out what nutrition you want to have 
work out then how much of the nutrition you want, work out how self-sufficient you want to be, and then consider your loading options. I'm sure there'll be some questions on this one. Apologies for the length of time it's taken me to go through it. Um, fire me your questions, I'm here to help, and potentially even as well, a bit of Q&A would help narrow in some specifics that people might have. All right, hope that's useful. Thanks for the suggestion, Chris. Um, look forward, I actually post a picture of your setup Look forward to uh, people's comments and how they actually approach some of these things, particularly at the longer course. All right, take care.